Hello everyone and welcome back to the British Empire, Europa Universalis 4. Last episode we uh, finished eating the Irish and then we uh, we decided Provence looked a mighty bit tasty and so we walked in and took some provinces, we've connected up our northern French possessions. Uh, we, we still need Picardy to connect Calais up but uh, it's, it's looking a bit like a pipe dream at the moment. However. Aragon has lost its faithful ally, the French, and is at war with Castile. And uh, I want Castile to be strong in case we do manage to slam the French in the face. So I'm accepting this call to arms, actually. And I'm going to start moving the armies over to uh, actually do things. And actually, give me a second, I can get to start getting a spy network in there. That'll make the sieges a bit easier. So the bigger your spy network, the better you do in the siege. Okay, I'm going to come over here and land my army. Bloody hell, he's wasting no time. Straight into the enemy capital. Okay, there's one army. I need my other one. Dock in Hampshire. Call that. Let's have a look. I need... Uh, Need this army down if I'm going to do anything. I don't want to get caught short by the Aragonese. Actually, he is sieging my fort. Let's get in the mountains. Let's get in the fucking mountains. Yeah. Oh, shit. Can we avoid this? No, I think we're just going to have to sit here and take it. Actually, walk over. Come on. Come on. Walk. Yes. Now, I think he gets the, uh, or do I get, who's got the bonus here? I can't tell. He's, I've got the bonus. He's attacking me into the mountains. Also, here comes Castile's, um, death stack. So, uh, there goes the fucking Aragonese army straight away. Let's just, uh, move over, start sieging some more stuff. There you go, there you go, Castile. Congratulations, we've won the war. And actually, I have a colonist now, yes! Um, we're going to go with native repression for now, because I, I do want to establish a military presence in the new world. I would siege that, but it's in the, everything's in the mountains down here now. What the fuck? Um... I'm going to send my navy around, I think. I think that is the play, is to send the navy around to help in this siege. Because I'm a nice guy and I help my allies. You know, you see, the French just aren't here. The French are just, they're, they're just fucking got What the f- Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's losing his capital and he's just fucking walked over all the way through France to Normandy. I can't say it's exactly what I would have done, but I can commend the effort. Like, I'm not exactly bothered about that. That's going to take a while anyway. So I'll bump it up to four speed, because all we're doing now is sieging. Shouldn't take too long, especially with my spy network ticking up. Yeah. So there you go, look, we've gotten through the walls, and both of them actually were through the walls on. Castile has uh, decided, actually, I don't really feel like sieging their capital anymore. Is he going to go and fight that one in Normandy? I would have just kept sieging. I can lose Normandy, it's not something I'm really too bothered about, especially when I've got the entire Aragonese navy pinned down over here. Yes, Austria, I will marry you again. Because despite you losing some land, I still need you, honey. And actually, can we increase the trust between us? Not if, not if I don't want to do it, but I can increase trust here. But yes. He trusts me to uphold my bargains. Trust is important in this game. You need to trust your allies have got your back when the Ottomans declare war and that they won't just leave you for dead. PTSD intensifies. Actually, split. Go over here. 
How's he doing in, um... Yeah, he's about to take that. Right, we're gonna... Oh, for fuck's sake. Trust the Spanish to fucking siege out a fort. No, never. I'll do it. Stuff it. You know, you, you want a siege done properly, you call the British. You know, that's just how it goes, really, isn't it? Right. He's actually stopped sieging Normandy. Oh, that's because uh, he went and got involved. Oh, dear. That poor army. God is with Henry. Oh, oh no! He's come of age and... Uh, oh, no. The nobles aren't too happy about that, you see. Um... I need an army back there, realistically. Can I fight these people? Oh, fuck me. No, don't do War of the Roses. Ah! It's all gone very wrong. Yay, we won. Oh, we just stack wiped him. That's his entire army gone. Wait, is Naples at war with them as well? He is as well. You cheeky, cheeky bugger. What a cheeky man. Right, we are about to take Valencia. Oh God, don't look at the rebels. Don't look at the. Don't acknowledge them. We're at, well, this is a wartime scenario, so uh, we don't want. Oh Jesus! We just pushed their entire navy out into our. Oh wow! Oh blimey! Uh, it's worse than that. He's dead. Okay. Back to London. <laughs> We've got rebels to put down violently. Move this army over to Garrison Valencia. We have basically won this war now. So I think it's safe to say there is going to be no boning between these two countries now. Um, they've just been at war too much. Don't you dare break that fort before I get there, you bastard. Uh, fuck you, Scotland. Don't care. Go, 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 go. Phew. Where is he going? He's going here. We'll do this. Yes. Right, that's the rebel uprising put down. Um, oh, Jesus. Wow. Jesus Christ. We have a year until all hell breaks loose. Can we get back up to Normandy from here? We can. Right, go. Awfully sorry to leave you like this, Castile. Uh, I have some things to deal with. Actually, all of this is occupied by me. <laughs> so even if he wants to peace out, he can't have it. Okay, you know what? I'll be nice. I'll be nice. There you go, buddy. There you go. I did everything, but there you go. There you go. I'm keeping this bit though. I'd like this. This is this would be a nice British holiday destination. We'll keep that. There you go. You want his mainlands? You can have them. Fuck me. Need to establish my navy in the Straits of Dover. Cause uh, War of the Roses is about to fire. God, he really is going ham, isn't he? Look, he's just so desperate to get this fort. There you go. Peace out now. Yes, I love a good story. Can we pick... There we go. Let's see what happened. We'll cede all those to Castile, and he'll give money. I get no money. Okay. Well, you know what? We can always spend some favours. He thinks we're highly trustworthy now. Okay, well, slightly strange beginning to the game. I'm about to have the fucking War of the Roses. Wonderful! Absolutely perfect. 
Henry O. the First has suddenly died. As the nation mourns, two junior branches of the old house of... What the fuck is that? Plantagenet, the House of Lancaster and the House of York, both claim to be rightful heir to the throne of England. Sporadic fights between their supporters have already broken out in a number of provinces around the country. Their heraldic symbols, a red rose and a white rose, have already become synonymous with the conflict now commonly known as the War of the Roses. So now we get to pick which house we support. Do we support the Henry of York or Edward of Lancaster? I think I'm going Lancaster. Yorkshire. Where? There. Or do I support the one that gives less rebels? I go with Edward. He's got he's got better stats. It's nothing personal, Ed. It's just better stats, isn't it? You know, so now we are at war with ourselves. We're collapsing around ourselves. Actually, they outnumber me. I should have thought this through a bit more, shouldn't I? Um, when in doubt, mercenaries, of course. Um, I would very much like to win this one. Ah, we've trapped him. This is most welcomed. Local support. Yeah! Okay. We're going to run in. We should get a buff because of the terrain. Yeah, see, look, he's got minus one to all of his rolls because he's attacking into me. Oh, yes. With one. Chase him. Don't let him escape. Kill them all. Take no prisoners. Kill them all! Sorry, Richard. I'm, I'm awfully sorry, old chap, but you're going to have to fuck off now. I have no men left in the army. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Henry O. Ah! Import food. How do I end this? Stability at least one. Yay! We win! <laughs> that was quick. That's, um, that event can be very nasty sometimes. But uh, thankfully for us, we got away pretty lightly. Let me just... Uh, just claim Navarra. You know, just to... As any good person should. Scotland and Savoy. Jesus Christ. Uh, it is time for peace. Henry Tudor, people. Henry motherfucking Tudor. Here he is. He's the heir to the throne. Let's just have a look at the chaos in Europe. Wonderful. Oh no, Henry is now a sinner. Didn't see that one coming. Now I really do want to fucking just eat Scotland. But the French would join. Actually, who's that that would join? Castile would join. What if I went straight to war on you? Just Austria. Castile wouldn't join. Oh, it's because he's in... Oh, don't tell me you like the French, you bastard. Manpower in Kent. Bugger. Oh, I've still got mercenaries as well, don't I? Let's get rid of them. They cost a fortune. Jesus. Yeah, I can't really do much in Europe here. Usually, um, what I try and do is I go to war against the French with my two allies. And we get an event chain that eventually leads to us being able to put a personal union over all of France. So basically, we're just world power at that point. But uh, it's been an odd start to the game. We haven't really managed to do that yet. So... It's looking increasingly likely that France is going to be our rival for some time. Oh, look, Brittany is here. Yes! Journey for the New World! What the f... Okay, North Sea. Right, get over here in Limerick. I can't afford the Explorer. 
How marvellous. How ruddy marvellous. Let's just speed five. Can I have an explorer? Yes, explorer. Right, go. Explore. We want to get colonising as soon as we can, because colonies are big money. They are big, big money, and they make me powerful. Oh, look, guys, it's a whale. Yes. Explore. So, yeah, look, the, uh, the Portuguese have actually done that. Right. I don't have enough range to explore all of this yet. But that's okay. That is okay by me. Really, that was it? That's all we can explore? Really? Explore. Circumnavigate the globe. Fucking hell. Really? I can't explore? Okay. That was very anticlimactic on the exploration front. I suppose we'll go back to uh, protecting some trade then in the North Sea. So yeah, this is going interestingly. Um, can't really say much. It's, it's not gone as according to plan, but um, we're still we've still expanded our power base in France. So maybe later we can kind of push him a bit. I don't know. But um, we haven't really gotten the rampant power base I was hoping to get with the personal union. Nor has uh, the Iberian Wedding happened. Um, yeah. It's just kind of all gone a bit wonky, really, this game. But uh, I'm enjoying myself. I'm still doing well. Oh, hello. Danish Pretender Rebels. So, yeah. Bit of an odd start, but uh, I'm hoping we get the momentum and keep it going. Need to kill Scotland. Need to kill the Scots. That is uh, something I need to do. Because what I want to do is form the British nation. That would be great, but I can't do it without Scotland. So yeah, that's that's kind of where we stand at the moment. So uh, hopefully in the next few episodes we start getting some colonies going. Of course we're going to take that event because we get more tax for some money. And actually, can we build anything worthwhile? No, we can't. Oh well. So that is where we stand at the moment. Uh, this episode, what did we do? We helped out. We ate a bit of province, I think. I think that was this episode, I can't remember. We ate a bit of province. Uh, we went down and helped Castile eat most of Aragon because uh, the French decided they would be French and not fight. <laughs> French meme, get it? They, they run away from their white flag. No? Okay. Austria's at war with Mil Milan. Oh, okay. Milan's eaten Switzerland. That explains it. Getting sidetracked here. Polish peasants. Oh dear. Yeah, this is this is the world at the moment as we know it. Novgorod's getting eaten by Denmark. Oh well. So yeah, that is where we stand. That's what we've done and where we're hoping to go. So uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.